What's going on guys? So it's been quite some time since I made a last video. A last has happened. So let's get into it. Now the other day I actually ended up selling my 240. Uh I just decided it was time to let it go. Focus on other things, focus on the Supra mainly. Um in the future I'll try to build something else. So It'll be on this channel. I'm thinking about something like a first gen S10 pickup. I have the LS1 laying around, so I figured, uh, let me build a little street truck. I could use it for the shop. I could use it for just a you know nice little summer cool daily truck. Now, this is what's going on in the garage right now. We got my Supra, and then we got my buddy Supra. So. He came to me a couple of days ago with an oil leak. We, uh, I'll, I'll throw in some pictures and videos. I just didn't have the time to even attempt to film with editing and everything like that. I just, I just needed to get stuff going. So, um, this is a JDM Mark IV Supra. This is the block that's going out to the machine shop. Bunch of the parts for this car so we're gonna be stripping the rest of this engine bay all the wiring and everything he actually wants me to paint the car i mean not paint the car but paint the engine bay itself uh it was recently painted not too long ago he had it repainted so let me just show you that nice clean paint so we're just going to be matching the engine bay cleaning it up a little bit so the cylinder head the cylinder head is back from the machine shop, cleaned, uh, inspected, the valve seals were checked, um, valves were grinded down, so this is basically ready for the, the block. So we found out that one of the main bearings decided to actually take a shit, so I don't know if you guys can see, this is one of the main bearings from the motor. Good thing that we caught it in time. We we're able to save a lot of the parts, especially the cylinder head that's over there. So this is what we're gonna be working on. Um, the plan is to have this engine bay painted, I hopefully by the end of the week, if everything works out. We got some crappy weather coming. Uh, if they make me stay late at work, I'm gonna try to put in as many hours as I can on this car. I just wanna get this get this done banged out i want to continue working on my supra it's sitting tucked away i put the the hood on the fender just to make some room in the in the garage this is the hood for the uh, for my buddy's mark IV. it's hanging out over here uh, turbo manifold stuff like that so this is what we're doing so i'm gonna try to set you guys up on i'll try to set, set you guys up on a tripod Maybe do a little time lapse of stripping this engine bay as much as I can. My biggest worry is not to scratch the fenders or anything on the car. It's freshly out of paint. We weren't expecting to be doing a full engine rebuild right now, but it is what it is. Shit happens. So if you guys want to see putting a 2J together, we're actually going to be doing a GE bottom end. The original, the original GE that was in here it was a non-turbo GE. It was a five-speed car. So this is actually a GTE VVTi motor. Um, we're gonna use the cylinder head. He's gonna take this. He's gonna build it on the side, little by little, and we're just gonna throw a GE bottom end with the GT turbo head, just to get the car out ready for the summer he could still enjoy it drive it around make 550 600 horsepower safely on e85 no problem so that's the plan so uh... all right so i set you guys up on the tripod and yeah let me just figure out what the hell i gotta do and we'll go from there
Alright, so I'll set you guys up on the time lapse and... guys this was uh a lot harder than i thought it would be so basically the side skirt the side skirt was uh riveted on in one two three four five places it's also riveted on in the back towards the back wheels i don't want to take the back wheel off right now so i just was able to just pull it off enough to get the fender off there's two bolts from underneath there's one bolt on the bottom inside the Right behind the door and then one up top and then along this channel so we're basically going to be painting it up to these rails just so it looks a lot nicer um clean up any of the surface rust that's over here uh, i'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull these um these vin tags off unfortunately i'm gonna have to do that just to get it painted correctly um not the most legal thing but still i'm not really doing anything too crazy so i'm not worried um just give me a second here something unplugged i don't know what's going on here right now what's going on here Ugh. all right so this side's done i gotta do the other side now and uh start pulling out this wiring i might try to relocate this wire harness this wire harness uh towards the inside of the frame rail right over here try to tuck it clean it up a little bit oh we'll see so yeah i'll set you guys back up on the time lapse and i'm gonna tackle the other side I guess so check it out this is where we at with this uh, JDM mark for Supra I stripped the entire harness everything's out um, started sanding prepping some of the surface to get it primered uh, I'm not gonna touch the firewall the firewall staying the way it is we're just gonna paint up to the uh, insulation right over here I'm gonna mask everything off um, I don't want to have to take apart the half of the dashboard just to get the uh, brake booster out and all of that. I did remove the ABS um, unit. I don't want to disconnect the AC condenser and the AC compressor. It's still charged. I don't want to have to recharge it, vacuum it, the whole nine. So I'm just going to leave it like that, paint around that. Uh, as you can tell, somebody did repaint this um, engine bay prior it was done like 
shit. A lot of surface rust underneath the paint. So I'm going to have to strip it down. Almost down to bare metal. And some of these spots are a little bit worse than others. So little by little we'll get there though. Um, but yeah, I figured uh, let me make a little clip. What's going on, how this came out, everything. Uh, it's a little pain in the ass to get the harnesses out. You really got to crawl underneath the dashboard, passenger side and the driver's side. But it comes out fairly easy, none too hard. Just the uh, clips that run along this way. I will try to tuck the harness. It just looks so much better without having this harness come right over the strut tower. So we'll see where this goes. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll post up another update as soon as I can. Probably I'm going to get sanding on this. Maybe try to prime it. Um, today, Monday, Tuesday. Maybe by Wednesday, I'll try to throw some primer on this engine bay. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. And uh, like I said, if you like what, uh, what I got going on so far, subscribe, comment, like, share. And yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.